hello guys welcome back to tutoring with abdul and today's session we'll be talking about the nor gate the nor gate as we see from the name the nor and that mean not or gate uh, we already did talk we already talked about the about the and gate or gate and nand gates uh, if you want to go ahead with these courses please go back and check the digital electronic the beginning videos uh, and also check out the logic gates the and or gates uh, please go ahead and check out the nand gate also the nor gate is actually complement of or gate or that's inverted or gate <coughs> um, <coughs> so before we already describe or we define the nor gate and nand gate was not and gate in the same manner as we said like nor gate is defined as not or gate or we can define it other way so out output of an or gate is inverted to form a nor gate so anything that is coming out of the or gate and if you invert that that will become a nor gate automatically okay so moving on to the symbol we knew that a symbol for the OR gate was this this symbol was for the OR gate okay so we got two inputs we will only draw two input OR gate so the OR will be A plus B or A OR with B to give me output of whatever you call call it i'll call it c so that is our symbol for the or gate that's or gate now the nor gate is since we said like it's the same symbol as a or gate but at the end it has a bubble inverted bubble so that make it that will make it as a nor gate so let's draw that too change a different color pick a different color that will be okay okay so pardon my drawing i'm not a very good drawer so this will become a inverted and that a plus b which was here the or gate now it will be inverted that bar mean it's inverted we got the output of c this this is equal is same as this symbol so that doesn't look like or gate let me fix that I'm very glad that so we have a digital electronics um, a drawing so we don't have to draw by hand no more so that's coming a a plus b now we added one inverter there that is not and that will become a plus b not or a nord with input b to give me output of c so these two are the same this bubble mean this not gate so it will be nor gate for that all right okay so or gate is uh, the or gate uh, boolean expression is This should be a quick recap. So if you have a two inputs A B the Boolean expression will be A plus B is equal to if this is output is C so that'll be A plus B is equal to C. 
in English it will say like A is ORD with B to give an to yield an output of C. So that is our OR gate. But for the NOR gate is a, since it's a complement of OR gate, we'll have this uh, same uh, A plus B, but we will have to invert that to give us a NOR gate. So let's draw that on NOR gate first. The symbol we already wrote it before. We already made determination of the symbol of NOR gate. So let's go. It's not a big curvature, so that's okay. That seems like right a little bit. There you go. Okay, so that's input A, input B. We got two input for the okay input A, input B. So it'll be the Boolean expression will be same as a OR gate, but inverted. That bar will mean that is not OR gate. So A plus B. If there is no bar, that is OR gate symbol. But if there's a bar above it, that will be that mean that is inverted OR gate or NOR gate. You can call that, for example, A NORD input input A NORD input B to yield output C. This expression can be wrote as a A plus B. That's a computer version. It'll be like that if you were typing in a computer. So that will be like that. Okay, so that's a two way to write down the NOR gate Boolean expression A plus B not or the bar above mean not. So that will be NOR gate or not OR gate is equal to the condition is made and give me the output of C so that's how we define it in the boolean expression for the NOR gate all right now let's go to the uh, final topic of that mm, not NAND gate NOR gate sorry that is Alrighty, my mistake here. I made a mistake. These things happen. I'm human. Since I talked about NAND gate last time, it's still, still stuck in my head, NAND gate. The truth table for the NOR gate is the complement of the OR gate truth table. Let's do both. Uh, let's do the truth, truth table for two inputs. Uh, OR gate first. Okay, so to input OR gate and to input NOR gate. Okay, and the uh, the NOR gate is the complement of OR gate whatever output we have in OR gate will be the opposite in the NOR gate. So let's draw that uh, gate first, then we will draw the output of truth table, make the truth table for it too. That's two input, A, B. So in this picture you will see A plus B, which is the let me clear this off so we can, don't get it confused here. So that is OR gate boolean expression. Let's write down the same thing here. Let's make copy that and bring it here. Okay. Now since we have that uh, expression here 
the NOR gate so that will become a plus b or a or b gate but since it's inverted we will put that bar above it so it will become not or gate okay so that we got two inputs and an output is going from the or gate and nor gate okay, let's draw the truth table see how that works so let's see what that actually means the complement of or gate is a nor gate let me draw a table here <coughs> since we have only two input i will <coughs> excuse me guys i will only need a four possibilities will be input a input b and that will be a plus b <coughs> or which is that output you can call it c or whatever let's say if our input a is zero and input b is zero and or get the output or a or b a or b is also zero or the output is low too if the input is input a is high the output input b is low the output a plus b one of these or you don't want to confuse you guys just call it c the c will be high okay if the input a is low but input b is high the output should be still high but if input a is high and input b is high the output c should be still high okay so that is for the OR gate okay so that is a distinction between them now let's draw the same truth table for the NOR gate I'll cl call this as D the output of D so it will be A, input A and input B here and the output D okay if input A is low or 0 input B is low or 0 the we had an OR gate the output was 0 but NOR gate is the exact complement of OR gate so that output will be high and that seems like it's a unique condition for that for the uni uh, for the NOR gate the output will be only high when both input or, or the, when all the inputs are low okay move, moving on if the input A is high input B is low in the OR gate condition our input our output was high but in NOR since the output is high and invert that will give me output of low but if uh, my input A is low and input B is high in OR gate that condition was here this condition was high but if you complement that or invert that it will be giving me input output of low <coughs> now the fourth condition if the input a is high and input b is high in or gate that condition was also the output was high but in nor gate the condition or the output uh, condition will be low so the nor it seems like nor gate is the exact opposite of or gate or the complement of or gate so anything that we had a high in a in OR gate it will be low in the NOR gate that is only based on two inputs so that's how we compare it we can uh, make a truth table for more than two inputs uh, please go ahead and try to make this A plus B plus C is equal to Y draw this one so please draw draw this circuit or draw this logic gate <clears throat> this is a boolean expression for three inputs or gate uh, so please draw this logic gate and um, 
make a truth table for that well for it okay if you guys can do it and then please draw a plus b plus c not that a plus b plus c which is which was originally or gate now make it nor gate and draw the gate the logic gate let me follow the guideline of the english language and make a truth table there you go that's so that's your homework please guys do that please uh, uh, try to uh, make this circuit if you have any question please submit it in the comment section and until next lecture i'll see you guys and be careful take care guys and do not forget to please do not forget to subscribe to this channel Thank you.